Perspective Plotter is a Blender add-on for modellers, architects and artists who need to interactively match a Blender camera to an image or video. This is useful when creating 3D models from 2D sketches, matching a 3D scene to a 2D photo, or animating a camera dynamically to match a video. The add-on works by allowing you to define perspective lines in the viewport, which create vanishing points that automatically set a camera's focal length, location and rotation. This is like the standalone application FSPY, but instead inside Bender in real time. This video will take you through installation of the add-on and how to quickly get started. The add-on is installed like regular add-ons in Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, select the Add-ons tab if it isn't already and click Install from File. Select the zip file you downloaded and then click the Install button. Then Perspective Plotter should appear in the list of add-ons. Make sure the checkbox is checked next to it. Press 0 to switch to the camera view or go to View, Cameras, Active Camera. Press the N key to open the viewport side tabs if they are not visible already. Go to the tab called P Plotter. The tab will only be visible if you are looking through the camera. Click the button called Plot Perspective. The button will now say Plotting. The camera will adjust to a default position with perspective line control points ready to be adjusted. You can change the colours of these points if you wish in the add-on's preferences. You can click Plotting again to switch off the add-on. Before we start, let's set up a background image or video we want to match the camera to. In the Outliner panel, click on the Active Camera. In the Properties panel, click on the Camera tab. Select the checkbox for background images, then click on the Add Image button. Select Image or Movie Clip and click on the Open button. Locate and select your background image or video and click on the Open Image button. Note you can also adjust the image's opacity. You might notice the red Background Unmatched button appear on the panel. This is telling you that your scene's render border does not match your camera background image. Clicking the button will automatically change the scene resolution to match your background. In the camera viewport, the perspective lines allow you to align the camera to different vanishing points. All perspective plotter's controls are relative to a camera's frame border. We'll assume you know a little bit about vanishing points, but if not, we recommend Chip Walter's video on vanishing points linked in the description. Left click and drag on the ends of these lines to manipulate them. When moving the guides you might notice the invalid configuration warning sign appear, which indicates the guides are temporarily in an invalid state. Keep moving the guides until they match again and the warning message will go away. There is a pair of lines for each vanishing point axis. By positioning these lines along significant edges on an image that represent parallel lines, the vanishing points created automatically set the camera's focal length, location and rotation in real time. It's best to try and find edges that are far apart, otherwise the vanishing points may not be accurate enough to get a good perspective. Once you have adjusted each perspective line, you should start to see the camera match the scene in the image. By default, you will be in two-point perspective mode. Our next video will cover the other one and three-point perspective modes also available, as well as the other controls that will help you match the camera distance. In future videos, we'll cover animation and a modelling tool bundled with the add-on called Move Along View. We hope you'll find the add-on useful. Available now from Blender Market and Gumroad. Links are in the description. Do let us know if you have any questions by contacting us via Blender Market or by emailing info at configurate.net. Thanks for listening.